Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 9 of your textbooks. Exercise 9.4 which is an optional exercise and it's not really related uh, to your exams. So this is not uh, really on exam point of view but uh, it is a good practice to go through these uh, uh, to go through these uh, sums in the exercise because uh, they are related to the concepts that we learn throughout chapter 9 areas of parallelograms and triangles. So here the first question we have been given uh, two quadrilaterals one of which is a parallelogram and one is a rectangle on the same base AB. So you have parallelogram ABCD and rectangle ABEF if you notice they are sharing the common base AB. Also, it is given that the areas of the two, the parallelogram and the rectangle are equal. So, area of ABCD, parallelogram ABCD is equal to area of rectangle ABEF. I need to prove that the area of my parallelogram ABCD is greater than the perimeter of the parallelogram ABCD is greater than the perimeter of the uh, rectangle ABEF. So, P here stands for perimeter. So, how, first of all, what do we know about the perimeter? Perimeter is the sum of all the sides. For example, let's say this is a big ground on which you start to jog. You start at point A. When you start running from point A, run throughout this entire path, this circular track and again reach point A, the distance covered by you is the perimeter. Similarly, for your rectangle, here the perimeter if you start let us say from point A it would be the sum of AB plus BC plus CD plus DA. So when you start from here and you reach here this is your starting point. So now you need to prove that the perimeters of the uh, uh, perimeter of the parallelogram is greater than the perimeter of the rectangle. How do you do that? It's a very simple concept. We are going to compare the opposite sides of the parallelograms and the rectangle. Why? Because we know that the opposite sides of rectangle and are equal and uh, opposite sides of the parallelograms are equal. So now if you notice, let's check for the length. Length is going to be AB and DC for your parallelogram ABCD and it's going to be AB and EF for your rectangle. Let's go ahead and compare. You will see how to solve this question. I will see proof AB is equal to CD opposite sides of parallelogram ABCD. Let us mark this as 1. Then you also have AB is equal to EF. Again, I will say opposite sides of rectangle. A, B, E, F. Let us mark this as 2. Therefore, what do you get? Therefore, C, D is equal to E, F. I will say from 1 and 2. See, you have A, B on the left hand side. Therefore, you will have C, D is equal to E, F on the right hand side equal. Now, see C, D is the length for your parallelogram one side and EF is the length for your rectangle, right? Now I need to make the sum of the lengths of the parallelogram and rectangles. That is why what I am going to do is add AB to both sides. So I will say add AB to both sides. What do you get? AB plus CD is equal to AB plus EF. So what do you get? The sum of the lengths of your parallelogram is equal to the sum of the length of your rectangle. So when you compare the sum of the lengths of your parallelogram and rectangle, they are equal. So obviously we will now proceed with the breadths. Okay? So that is the sum of the pair of opposite, uh, the other opposite sides of your parallelogram. Now what do we know for a right angle triangle? Let us say I have a right angle triangle. PQR which has a right angle at R. What have we learned for a right angle triangle? That the hypotenuse is the greatest side in a right angle triangle, right? So if you notice this triangle out here, CEB, you have CB is greater than EB. That means one side of your parallelogram is greater than the other side of your rectangle. Similarly here, DA is greater than 
Ea. Let's write this down. We know that the hypotenuse is greatest side in a right angled triangle. Correct? Therefore, in triangle CEB, what do I have? I have CB greater than EB. I'll mark this as, let's mark this as 3, let's mark this as 4. Similarly, in triangle, so which is the other triangle? DEA. DFA, I have DA is greater than the other side which is FA. Let's mark this as 5. So when you add 4 and 5, what do you get? Let's see. I'll say add 4 and 5. I get CB plus DA is greater than EB plus FA. So why am I saying that CB plus DA is greater than EB plus FA? Let's say I have CB as a CB and EB. Let's say CB has 10 chocolates and EB has 8 chocolates. Similarly, I have DA and FA. Okay, and I'll say DA has 5 chocolates and FA has 1 chocolates. When I add these 2 chocolates, CB and DA, what do I get? 5 plus 10, CB plus DA is 5 plus 10 which is 15. Similarly, when I add EB and FA, I get 8 plus 1 which is 9. So you notice when you have 2 greater than sides over here and you add these, you will get the same greater than sign for this. So, CB plus DA is greater than EB plus FA. So, but what is CB plus DA? CB plus DA is the opposite side of your parallelogram. So, in your parallelogram and your rectangle and CEB plus FA, EB plus FA, they are the opposite sides of your rectangle. So, what can you see? That for the parallelogram and the rectangle on the same basis, you have the lengths equal but their breadths or the breadth of the parallelogram is more than the breadth of the rectangle, the sum of the breadths of the rectangle, right? So, I'll mark this as now 6. So, let's add 3 and 6. So, perimeter of parallelogram ABCD A B plus B C plus C D plus D A. Right? So now let's take a look at the lens of your parallelogram. You have A B plus C D. So let's write this as A B plus C D and plus B C plus D A. Why have I written it in this format? Because I have A B plus C D out here which is the length of your parallelogram and I have BC plus DA out here. See, CB is the same as BC and BC plus DA which is that for your parallelogram. This is for your parallelogram and this is again for your rectangle. Correct? So, CB plus DA. This is the perimeter of your parallelogram. Now, let's see perimeter of rectangle ABEF. What do you have? Let's mark this as 7. Okay. Now, perimeter of rectangle is what? AB plus BE plus EF plus FA. So, let us rewrite this according to the length and breadth. I have AB plus EF. So, I am going to pick up AB and EF to give AB plus EF plus BE plus FA. So, this is the length and this is the sum of these. This is the sum of the length and this is the sum of the breadth for my rectangle. Let's mark this as 8. Now, let's compare 
3, 6, 7 and 8. What do you have? AB is equal to AB plus CD is equal to AB plus EF. So you have these two terms equal. And you have BC plus DA is greater than EB plus FA. See, BC plus DA is greater than BE plus FA. So what do you get? That the parallelogram of ABCD, your parallel, uh, perimeter of your parallelogram ABCD is greater than the perimeter of your rectangle ABEF because this term out here is greater, right? So I'll say comparing 7 and 8 using 3 and 6. What do I get? Perimeter of parallelogram ABCD is greater than perimeter of your rectangle ABEF. Hence proved. So please take a look at this solution. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.